hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new weekly vlog we have just woken up and it is like the perfect crisp cold winter morning but the skies are blue and we still have Bon who you can probably hear in the back because she's getting very impatient um so we decided to take her for a little walk but we're going to pick up my brother on the way and that's how we're going to spend our morning so I thought I'd bring you along we do currently have a road blockage though so we're trying to get out of our street but there is like a massive truck in front of us that is not moving so I don't know how long we're going to be here oh he's giving him the two minutes <laughs> yeah I thought I'd just bring you along on my week again I've really enjoyed getting back into vlogging. We went to the cinema last night with Matt and Georgia to watch Some Motherhood, and it was good. If you know those films, like I said to Brad, the last time we watched those films was when we were about 16. And they are just funny, but it was a little bit, I don't know, like mixed reviews, would you say? Yeah, well, another hood's like that though, isn't it? It's yeah. like, it's a funny film. It's meant to be like stupid. It's like a parody, yeah. yeah. And it's just hilarious. I think it's so funny. <laughs> there was also the new Taylor Swift film out though. And don't hate me, but I'm not like the biggest Taylor Swift fan. I mean, I like her, but I'm not like obsessed with her. And um, the cinema, I've never seen it so busy in my life. Like there were so many people there to the point where I didn't get my Tango Ice Blast because there was like 50 people in the queue to get snacks. So we went into the cinema with like a Costa Coffee hot chocolate, a packet of shortbread. I had a packet of Pom Bears. <laughs> It's like the most random cinema snacks I've ever had. But yeah, it was nice to have a little double date night. Go to Wagamama's as well. And the weather was atrocious. I'm so glad we've woken up this morning to it being like this. Oh, it's focusing. Like it's literally blue skies. Um, and yesterday it was not like this at all. It was literally awful, like torrential rain. Probably get some breakfast on the way home as well. But I will check in with you guys a bit later. We are in Waterloo Park, which is such a nice little area to just stroll around. There's like a little building in the middle with coffee, I think. Yeah, going so I'm like coffee. coffee this morning. Um, one is just having a trot around, and we've got my brother here, who has recently moved to Norwich. So we're all in the city now, which is so nice. Great. It's going to be us this morning. The weather is 10 out of 10. It's like crisp, but so nice and warm in the sun. <laughs> in the sun while the boys go and get some takeaway drinks i have requested a hot chocolate bonnie was just off the lead and she just ran straight into the cafe and was just walking around saying hi to everyone she's literally obsessed with people more so than she has dogs that she'd rather see the owner than the dog been quite a few days since I last spoke to you guys it's actually been over a week and I wasn't really sure if I was going to talk about this but I feel like it's really important too I literally have not left the house since I last spoke to you which may sound weird but I basically feel like I rushed into something that I kind of regret which is why I wanted to talk to you about it so obviously in my last vlog I mentioned to you guys that I had Botox and I was super happy with it still am um, it was something that I was thinking about for a very long time and from getting that done I feel like it made me kind of like question if there were other things that I wanted to look at getting done I don't know I was suddenly like intrigued about what else I could kind of tweak and it's just made me realize how quick and easy it is to kind of fall into this trap of like getting things tweaked and feeling like it's going to make you feel so much better but honestly I want to sit down and tell you that it's not worth it sometimes like I say with Botox I am very very happy with it and because I thought about it for so long I was like more than sure I wanted to do it but I basically rushed into getting my double chin dissolved honestly even saying it out loud I feel silly because I know we all have double chins that like we all have fat under our chin that some of us don't like some of us aren't bothered by obviously i'm sure you guys have seen as well on tiktok there is this lemon bottle going around which has become very very popular very quickly and i spoke to my lovely lady about 
um, the treatment and she has mentioned to me that she does not offer it and since looking into it a lot more um, I have found out things like it's not FDA approved you can't get it insured in this country like people that are offering it I would just kind of question it a little bit because basically I had fat dissolving injections in my chin um, but I had a thing called Aqualix which has been around for years it's been tested it is approved like all of those things it's a lot safer in my opinion the reason I haven't left the house for a week is because the healing process of that lasts a long time like I have basically had an inflamed chin and neck for the whole week I've not been able to go out see anyone like it's been that bad Um, I might actually put a picture here um, because I would just say if you are interested in it be prepared to like take that week off work work from home for a week like it is a process and I think the biggest appeal of this lemon bottle is that you don't have any of that you have no swelling like nothing it all just seems a little bit too good to be true in my opinion um, like obviously if you're getting any treatment done you should expect some kind of healing time and some kind of process after getting it done I just wanted to mention that lemon bottle because obviously I've essentially had the same treatment I've treated the same area but just with a more kind of trusted brand and just the more I'm seeing about it if you are considering it then maybe do your own research but obviously I don't want to sit here and be a hypocrite like I obviously had the treatment done just with a different brand like I say but I am getting there I'm obviously back on camera I was obviously back to YouTube and I was like this is it like I'm coming back I'm not gonna have any breaks and then I freaking went and did this um, and like I say, didn't put too much thought into it, feel like I kind of rushed into it a little bit. And I regretted it because I just kept looking in the mirror thinking, what have you done to your face? Like, is this worth it? Probably not. Wanted to mention it, like I said, don't want to go about just never talking about it. Um, and just kind of warn you that if you are looking into something like that, then like I say, the process is quite a lot. It had been quite painful. My chin is still kind of tended to touch, like I can still feel um the kind of solution in there obviously it breaks down the fat cells and everything um and it is like a little bit of a procedure like you have quite a few injections in your chin so yeah this is how i'm currently looking i mean if anything i now have a double chin that i didn't kind of have before but essentially this part of my chin is gonna disappear so i'm sure i will be happy with how it looks but i just feel like is that a tweak that I really needed to make probably not um but i know there's so many different things out there that you can do there's so many things that are a little bit more dangerous than others and i just wanted to mention it and make sure you guys fully consider like the risks and the healing process and everything like that before you kind of jump into these things like think about it for months before you actually do it like i say i feel like curiosity kind of got the better of me and that is why you guys haven't seen me for over a week because i could not put my face on camera like honestly it was shocking like really really shocking how bad it got but yeah I am back um we are back to filming I feel like I look a little bit more normal now so I don't mind being on camera and yeah I'm excited to get back into the hauls I'm actually going to do a Zara order today so we can get a Zara haul up because I've heard people saying great things at the moment I kind of want to go in store as well and see if they've got different bits in there too but I am having a pajama day I'm in my trusty H&M like satin pajamas Brad is working on the snug I have a lot of updates to show you guys we did a little Ikea trip as well so I've got a few bits to show you from there um, and we popped some curtains up in here in the bedroom so yeah, I thought I would just pick up the camera today, have a little update, and like I said, I just wanted to brief you on where I've been, my thoughts on it, and we can carry on. But we have a really nice weekend ahead. We are going to see Mo and Jamie up in Leeds, which I'm so excited about because as I'm sure you guys will know, she is pregnant, um, and we haven't caught up in ages, so I'm excited to go and see them. I have this dimple when I talk and I've had someone message me about it before and they were like I really don't want to alarm you but like dimples and like dips in your face and stuff can have like a bad meaning now when I notice it I really panic about it but I've never really noticed it before so please tell me if I need to call my doctor about that because it seems really apparent at the moment 
but anyway yeah we haven't seen those guys in a while so we are doing that this weekend we're staying there on saturday and sunday and then next week um i'm kind of getting prepared for my little trip away which i'm excited about i think i'm going to bring you guys along on that because i am going alone and i feel like i'm going to need someone to chat to i do know a couple of the girls that are going so it will be a really nice trip i am going to be in hamburg um and then brad is actually going to meet me in amsterdam on the way home so we're going to have a couple of nights there which will be cute hopefully everything will be super nice and christmasy um so i'll vlog that as well a little break away from the house from everything going on and then we are well into november which is mad anyway i am gonna stop rambling i will show you the updates that we've had in here which is literally just the curtains um and then i will take you downstairs and show you the bits that we picked up from ikea also i had a delivery from one of my favorite gals on instagram her instagram is sumptuous sense and she does like wax melts and candles she's been doing it for years i think the first time i tried her products we lived in our rental house which i feel like a lot of you guys found me through like moving into that house those moving vlogs seem to have done really well and it's where i grew a lot of my following so if you remember that house um it was like the new build we had probably like four nearly five years ago um that was when i first discovered her so she has had babies since then she has been on and off like maternity leave and decided to take some orders through her dms at the moment like especially in time for christmas so she very kindly sent me over some extra bits for what i ordered i ordered a massive candle which we currently have downstairs at the moment but she also sent me her little autumn pumpkin scent which is honestly a dream this smells incredible and her scents are always really nice and strong which i like um but yeah how cute is this i've just had it burning in the bedroom but i will leave her instagram link down below in case she is still taking orders i know she's not going to be doing it for that long so be quick um but she is the best like all of her products are incredible so this is literally the only update we have in the bedroom i just wanted to get some curtains to kind of frame this window and make it feel a little bit bigger and i got these from ikea they were literally like 22 or 24 pounds i think so they were super inexpensive um and i'm really happy with them because i kind of struggled to find these like linen style curtains i'll leave the exact ones linked because they have so many obviously on the website and in store and then we did just get the curtain rail from there as well which was super inexpensive this was like not even 10 pounds i think and i love how they look so that is the update in here so i'm going to sort all this out and then I will take you downstairs to show you what else has been going on because it's been a lot. Brad has really cracked on. Like since you guys last saw the snug, it looks completely different. <laughs> whole process right now is just we get stuff we move it there's more stuff arrive we move it <laughs> what are we working on today done. whoa we have paneling in the hallway we are basically thinking of like we don't know whether we're gonna go for wallpaper in here have we decided yeah we're gonna... yeah so this is obviously the hallway as you walk in to the house which is what brad essentially built because he built this wall here um, and we decided to panel this bit down here and then we're gonna do wallpaper all the way along, we think. I think it just works, makes it a lot easier mm -hmm. for us. Um, panelling was pretty easy too, to be fair. As Looks always, great. skirt and mold came through, which is great, really easy stuff to, to use. Just got to cork it, paint it with some white emulsion and then we just pick the colour we want. I guess, depends on what you want. I think we'll probably keep this white in here. This is where we're having the rest of the IKEA wardrobes with all storage in them. So they'll basically come out to here. That is what is going on down here. I mean, the snug as well, I did just say to you guys, it has completely transformed, but it's now transformed even more in the sense of, there's a load of stuff in here now. We're basically trying to clear out the porch because we're gonna have this and the porch plastered on Monday and we're obviously not here over the weekend. So that's why everything is a bit of a jigsaw at the moment, but we have our sofa in here temporarily. Um, just so we have somewhere to sit other than our bedroom. And then this is what the media wall is looking like. We wanted to keep it quite simple as I showed you guys in 
the house updates. Um, so we've just gone for like panelling and then Brad's put this MDF board around the TV and it's also got LED lights behind it as well. And then it just goes on down there because we wanted like a feature wall but we didn't want shelves that we would kind of just clutter. So obviously this needs to be painted and everything but it is looking great. You've done a great job my love. Old pipes that came down here exposed and then the electrics that came down here. So we've now rerouted that and then yeah we've come down into here box this in so this will all be plastered so you won't notice it mm -hmm. and then that'll come and reroute all the way down there and then I've painted the radiator so that's ready to be mounted. We are getting there in here. This is yeah. like the next room to kind of be completed I feel like. We self leveled the floor as well which is very satisfying mm. um, just to kind of hide these horrible tiles that we've got which run all the way through the downstairs so we just wanted to like fill the gaps. We're going to go for the same carpet that's upstairs in here and yeah. Finally, it will be a little snug that we can actually invite people over and have people round. We've got like the curtains and stuff for there. We just need the blinds ordered. Yeah. And then paint in here. Skirting boards go down, but that will go down straight after we do the plastering, which will probably be Wednesday yep. now. And then I think it's the following Monday that we have carpet coming carpet in, coming in mm -hmm. which is great. I'm excited to get this room done. We literally keep saying to people like Zell the other day, she was like, well, we could come to you and see all the updates. And I sent her a video and I was like, Unless you want to all sit in the bed and eat McDonald's, then honestly, it's not safe for the babies. Like, there's literally nowhere we can have people sit at the moment. So, I'm excited to get this room done. Um, we've literally been like eating in our bedroom, everything, like living out of that one room that's done. Um, so, yeah, I will show you guys the rest of the bits that I bought from IKEA. But we did buy this bar table, which you can't really see. Um, it was only like £50 and we already had these bar stools from my old house so I bought that so we have somewhere to sit and eat dinner for now um, until we obviously get, well I suppose until the extension's done because we aren't really going to have a kitchen area where we can sit and eat so we'll probably put this back in the middle room um, when this obviously becomes a snug but that was just like our quick fix. We just decided to get a bar table so we don't have to eat in the bedroom. Got a floating um, unit. Oh yeah, we've also got our TV unit, which is currently covered. So I'll pop a picture on screen. And we are basically going to be like DIYing it a bit because we wanted a ribbed cabinet, but they are so expensive or mm. they're like not big enough or anything. So we've basically bought a sheet of MDF, which is already ribbed. So we can just cut it to the size of the doors, stick it on. We've got some legs for it coming. Um, so we're just kind of revamping a basic IKEA unit. You wanted to paint it as well, didn't you? Yeah, I think we'll paint it the same colour as the walls, mm -hmm. which is another Rust-Oleum paint actually, isn't it? Yeah. Just like a neutral, like cosy nude colour. So I'm now in our kitchen, which you guys have seen a few times before. I said I'd give you a little IKEA haul. And this being the first thing, which Brad has already put off for me, I think we are going to get the longer version of this and put it on the other side of the wall because this has actually been really handy. It's just one of the IKEA like floating shelves and I think this was like £15. You can obviously make these yourself but I mean for £15 it was so much easier to just buy this and pop it on the wall. We do not have barely any storage in here. We literally have three cabinets. I've got dust all over me. This house honestly is just dust at this point. I was actually hoovering furniture the other day just to try and get some of it up but yeah we only have the three cabinets over there and then this one here so we literally have like barely anywhere to put food and um, all of our plates and stuff so i wanted to get this as a quick fix for now and then obviously we can reuse this like anywhere in the house so yeah that is the first thing that we picked up and then i kind of just went a little bit crazy and just bought whatever i like the look of we had a rule because we took brad's mum as well um, she needed a couple of bits so we went with her down to Ikea and we had a rule that anything we picked up we had to have two reasons as to why we were allowed to buy it. So I picked this up and Brad was like what's your reasons and I was like I genuinely have none. I just like the look of it and I feel like it's quite Zara home especially for Ikea and then Brad's mum was like chips and dip and I was like there is my two reasons chips and dip which honestly like a Dorito dip would fit perfectly in here so I was like for when people come over this can be our giant crisp bowl so that was my two reasons for this guy and then i grabbed a little rack just for the side at the moment for washing up because we just have our sink here and nothing to kind of store everything in so we have that and then i grabbed these picture frames i can't remember how much these were i think they were like seven pounds each i want to say and they're just like the glass ones with the little gold trim and then they do stand up or you can hang them but i kind of love that these ones 
have a little stand for them. I did this in the old house, but I had a load of these from Matalan ages ago. And I just printed off a load of mini Polaroids and stuck them in the frames. They look pretty cute. So I'm going to update my Polaroids and put them in there. Um, and then I went a bit crazy with the Tupperware because I kind of want to get into the habit of like making rice bowls or something that we can then just... Are you okay? The bag again, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I just want to make up a few lunches that I can then store in the fridge and then when we're super busy we can literally just grab them and reheat them. So they have all these like glass Tupperwares with the wooden lids and I'm not going to lie, these added up to be like most of our shop because they are kind of pricey but obviously you're never going to get rid of these, like they will last forever. So I got a few of the shallow ones um, and then I got these little square ones and then I got these ones which I feel like will be the most useful because they're really quite big. So like I say for making up some lunches or something or even just storage containers. I've seen a lot of people store like oats or rice or anything in just to kind of pop in the cupboard because they do then stuff on top of each other like this. So yeah, picked up a load of those. I think that is kind of it for Ikea. I mean, obviously we got the TV unit, uh, the table. I also got like some candles and little bits, but I have these plates, which my mom and dad very kindly got us for a moving in present. And I just picked these up from H&M a little while ago, but I believe they do still have them. The matching plates and bowls. I love how kind of shallow these are. They're just really plain and simple, but again, timeless. I really love H&M Home. Again, I feel like they're not too expensive, but they do have some really nice pieces on there. So I think what I'm gonna do now is kind of style the shelf with all of those bits to get them out of the way and make it look all cute. I've got like some little bits that I've had for a while down here. I also, we went into Morrison's the other day and I was like, I'm not leaving without these. They are the cutest things I've ever seen. I actually ended up paying a pound for this one and this one was like 40p. So I don't really know how that worked, but cute for autumn. Here's my cute little shelf. I've kind of just popped everything on there. Obviously the plates and the bowls and then my little Ikea crisp bowl, um, the little pumpkins, and then like I say, just some bits that I've had for a while now, but I feel like this works. It's super easy to just grab the plates. It's freed up some space in these cupboards where I can then put some food in there, which is a lot more useful. Um, and it kind of adds something to the kitchen, I feel. But yeah, I'm thinking of getting the longer version of this, like I say, on this wall. And then we can, again, just fill it with stuff. I've actually got these massive jars, which I've had for a while. These were from um, Charles Ted, I think. I literally bought them ages ago. And I used to have them filled with like oats, rice, pasta, any dry ingredients. And I think they would look quite nice on the shelf. I might get like some little labels for them. I just don't know how strong these are. I mean, it seems all right with this on it and all of that stuff combined is kind of heavy, but these guys are like, big like really heavy really thick so i'm not sure how well they'll hold up but i'm sure we could like reinforce or something i don't know i kind of love the color of these as well i like how neutral they are um like a really light wood that's the vibe i think i want to go for in the new kitchen like whites marbles and really light woods i need to get planning with that because i'm hoping quite soon into the new year we can start with that project which would be super exciting but yeah, I'm going to tidy the kitchen and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So Brad has just headed out for the evening and I've just made my favourite dinner ever. I've used my rice maker and then I've got some steak, fried vegetables, radishes and carrots. And then I'm literally going to cover it in mayo and sriracha, soy sauce. This is honestly the best dinner. I don't know how many times I've made this. I honestly love it so much. I either have steak or salmon. Brad actually did grab himself a salmon fillet, so I'm going to make him exactly the same for when he's home. I'm actually just going to pop it in one of these IKEA things and then pop it in the fridge so he can have it cold when he gets in because I think he'll be here quite late. I probably will round this vlog off here. I know it was pretty short, kind of random, but I will pick up the camera again probably next week. I really, really need to get 
back into a routine, sort my out basically and just do things that are going to make me feel good because this week has not been the one as i'm sure you can imagine thank you so much for watching thanks for listening to my rambles i hope you all enjoyed nonetheless and i'll speak to you very soon in my next one bye guys